Chris. Um, you're here with uh, uh, Representative uh, uh, Taylor Green and also uh, Cawthorn right around here. Are you happy to be with these guys? Or well, I'm, I'm glad to be down here. We're having a great conversation with a whole bunch of people. We're talking about energy. I think it's appropriate now given what's happening across the country, across the world. And as we know, Alaska is an energy state, an energy giant. So we're trying to press the case to this administration, uh, the Biden administration, that um, we've got to uh, we've got to move on our energy resources here in America, so that we're not beholden to other countries. You, you talked about how um, energy independence is uh, contributing to what's going on in Ukraine. Can you uh, elaborate on that? Well, when you, for example, when you have uh, Germany that's dependent upon gas coming out of Russia. When you have these political issues that we're seeing now with the invasion of Ukraine by Russia, it, it puts a country such as Germany in a tough spot. We don't want that to happen here in America. We don't want that to happen to our European allies either. So America, once again, is an energy giant. We can produce our own energy for our own domestic consumption, but we have enough energy to send to our European allies as well, so they don't have to be beholding to a regime such as the Putin regime. Uh, I remember Treadwell, when I was up there, was talking a lot about the fact that the Bering Sea ice melt is happening. You're going to have a, a passage through there. Are, is that something you're still looking for? Are like administrations are looking, we're preparing, looking for it? Yeah, I'm putting that in quotes. Yeah, yeah, we're preparing for that. Again, you know, most people don't realize that we're only about two and a half miles from Russia itself, 50 miles from the mainland through the Bering Strait. And so that, uh, that, that waterway is starting to melt more and more. We've seen that. So we're starting to prepare for what that's going to look like in the next 10, 15, 25 years. I think it's going to be a busy waterway for America, for the world, and Alaska is going to be right there. It's going to be the Panama of the North for us. Now, there's always the joke that mosquito is the mosquitoes are basically the Alaskan bird. National it's the bird. ptarmigan. Ptarmigan, sorry. Um, are you worried about, like, as permafrost melts and as climate change happens? Um, we're, we're, we're going to deal with uh, whatever comes our way. That's what Alaskans do better than probably any other people on the planet. So we'll, uh, we'll make whatever happens work, and um, we're going to make sure that Alaska's future is well secured.